Is your content strategy just to pump out information? Welcome to Fortify, where we help you fortify your business. Now each week we pick a random topic chosen by the Fortify button. So let's see what this week's episode is going to be about. Providing actionable solutions with your content marketing. You see, information is a commodity. It's in abundance. What we really need to do is give people actionable solutions that they can apply right away. Actionable solutions are strategies, tactics, and insights or advice that actually moves the needles. It makes a difference. It helps you generate leads, uh, improve your influence, create an action, or is a step-by-step -step process. Content marketing is all the buzz these days. You know, they tell you, post blogs, write articles, great videos, post on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat. Oh my goodness, who has time for all of that? Most people fail and social networking quickly becomes social not working. Now don't confuse being busy with being effective. So here's your actionable solution for content marketing. It's a five-step process that you can use to leverage your content to expand your reach and your influence. Step number one, identify the specific needs of your target prospect. So for example, for franchise organizations, people that I market to, they want people to follow their systems and take personal accountability for their own success. I also work with community banks. Community banks want to gain a competitive advantage in their local markets, increase core deposits, and increase loan demand. The key is, do you know exactly what your target customers or clients want? All you have to do is listen to them. What do they ask you for on a repeated basis? Step number two, create an idea map of topics. What you can do is you can start with brain dumping your topics onto a mind map or a Word document. Then I suggest that you ask your staff what the top 10 questions they get asked most frequently. That'll give you lots of ideas. Then change your focus to doing an online research. Now here are a few tools that will help you with your research. The first one is KeywordTool.io. There will be a link in the description. You can use that to get keywords from Google Autocomplete, YouTube Autocomplete. That's where when you're typing keywords into the search field and other suggestions pop up, those show you popular searches and then you can tailor your content to help your content get found. Now another great website for researching is answerthepublic.com. Again, the link will be in the description. All you do is type in a keyword and you're going to get search results showing related searches to your keyword like things like why, how, will, where, can, which, who, what, etc. And make sure when you're searching online that you broaden your focus beyond just your products and services to think about the concerns, needs, and wants of your ideal customer. Step number three, decide on the format and medium that you want to use to reach your prospects. So once you have the list of topics, drill down and identify the best format for offering your content. Are you going to use video, audio, or are you going to write uh, something in text? Or maybe you're going to use all of them. The key is to match that content with where your customers congregate. Step number four, block out time to create and leverage your content. You see, it's better to create one good piece of content and then multipurpose it throughout the week than to create 10 content posts that nobody's going to see or engage with. So for example, on Fortify, we post Fortify on YouTube on Thursday, Facebook on Friday, LinkedIn on Monday, and then we actually create a blog about it the following Wednesday. Now the reason you should leverage the same content on multiple media platforms is because you want to expand your reach. Step number five, measure your ROE and ROI. In order to do this, you need to create a simple tracking spreadsheet. Use it to plan, schedule, and track your content marketing efforts. How many social shares? How, what are the number of comments? How many people viewed it? Clicks, conversions, leads, and ultimately sales. Uh, what's your cost to acquire a lead? You decide, but make sure you're measuring. Now, if you're not getting the engagement you really want, you may need to adjust your headlines to make them more benefit-oriented or attractive, or maybe increase the frequency of posting. You know, how often are you posting? Keep in mind to target the medium where your prospects are more likely to see your content. So here's a quick review of the five steps. Number one, identify the needs and wants of your customers. Number two, idea map your topics. Number three, decide on the content format and the medium. Number four, block out time to create and publish. And number five, measure your efforts, track your results, and modify. 
That's it for this week's episode of Fortify. Share this video with your marketing and sales teams. Like what you see? Subscribe to be notified of upcoming Fortify episodes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Fortify, where we help you fortify your business. Sean didn't think that we could use video on Twitter. We can use video on Twitter, Sean. To expand, expand. That's kind of a combination of expanding and branding. Expand. New word. What did, did, did that make any sense? I, I'm really upset that you said you're gonna cut content.